Welcome to our fourth episode of OTA, OTT Vlog. So let's get into some statistics here. We've talked a lot about OTA, but I want to actually give you the hard numbers. I'm looking at the numbers from second quarter of 2021, and it's showing 21 million broadcast only homes. That means there are 21 million homes in this country that rely on the tenants. That does not include houses that have cable in one room, an antenna on some TV somewhere else in the house. How does that stack up to the largest pay TV providers? Well, I'm looking at Comcast numbers right now. Uh, from This is from 2020, so this is a year ago. And they are down to 18... 0.9 million homes. Uh, to give you an idea, the year before they were up to 20 million homes, so they lost they lost a million homes in just that one year. AT&T is down to 16.5 million homes, and they were over 20 million homes at one point, and then it just gets smaller and smaller from there. So there are more OTA homes in this country than any single pay TV provider in the country, including Comcast. Now, when myself and the, my previous company started tracking the cord cutting trend 10 years ago, this number was way below 10 million homes. It was way below 10%. It was rare to find a city where more than 10% of the the households were broadcast only. And now you find multiple uh, cities that are 20%. There are even some that are 30%. Basically almost one out of every three homes has an antenna. Los Angeles, when I first start tracking the cord cutting trend, Los Angeles had less than 500,000 uh, over their homes. And now, it's over a million. It's over a million in just one city. New York has 700,000. Dallas, Houston, they're at the half million mark. This is a lot of homes. Now, what you're seeing on your screen right now is the grid for the Los Angeles broadcast station. So you can see there are a lot of stations that people with an antenna can watch. If you have a cheap antenna, you're getting a lot of these stations. And if you have a really good antenna, you should be getting, if not all of them, close to all of these stations for free. So, again, why is this important to the OTT world? Because the stations you were just looking at, only a fraction of them are carried on cable. And we're gonna go into that next week when it comes to retrans and why cable over the years has not been a visionary about giving people the localism that they want. But let's just stick to these numbers here. So you have all these channels in Los Angeles and these channels, the few that are carried on cable still are some of the highest rated channels on cable. So cable has a thousand channels, but a majority of the ratings are in just a handful of cable channels and the local broadcast channels that they carry. So an OTT provider that ties into the OTA and because OTA is free with a good antenna, can provide what a vast majority of people are watching. You're only missing a few things. And then, of course, if you're an aggregator like Select TV, you can fill in those blanks by allowing people to sign up through smaller bundles and uh, different streaming services 
that allow people to mix and match and keep it all into one place. What do people who have antennas, what do they miss? They miss the guide. Select TV has the guide. They, they miss the ability to watch on demand. Select TV allows you to go to these major broadcasters, uh, ABC, NBC, CBS, CW, and allow you to get their programming on demand. And in many cases, uh, get their latest programming for free on demand and allow you to do that in one app. So OTA allows OTT to provide literally in many cities, dozens of free channels that cost you zero dollars to provide to your customers. This is something cable cannot match. It's something that cable chose not to do and is now hurting them. So you can start to see the potential for OTT to come alongside OTA, utilize this entire infrastructure. If I, if you were a channel, if you were a service and I said, I could get you on to every single Comcast uh, Xfinity box in the country, you would be ecstatic. Well, Right now, there are more people watching OTA in this country than are watching an Xfinity uh, cable system. So the infrastructure is there. It is a huge infrastructure and it is just vibrant and it's going to get more vibrant with ATSE 3.0 and OTT services that find ways to strategize and to utilize and to come up with apps and equipment that will work with uh, the OTA infrastructure and especially with the OTA infrastructure of the future, ATSC 3.0, they're going to be the winners. There's only a few streaming services that are going to make it, but OTT services and especially aggregators that tie into this major, major group of individuals who are over the air are going to last for the long term. I hope you enjoyed this log and next week again we're going to get deeper into cable and where cable actually dropped the ball when it came to OTA and we're also going to talk about retrans and how that actually helps OTT. Again, uh, thank you for joining us and I will see you next week.